InstallSlab is an innovative, high-quality, patented, in-situ concrete slab foundation system, which can deliver foundation to finish floor level solution in one operation. This comprises of a series of patented interlocking expanded polystyrene pods and a specific BBA certified steel fibre reinforced concrete design mix incorporating ArcelorMittal steel fibres. Insul Slab's exceptional thermal performance significantly contributes to SAPs and SBEM calculations for compliance to Part L of the building regulation and BRIAM's Code for Sustainable Homes. The environment also benefits from the need for only minimal cartaway and only 450mm overall structural depth of combined beam and slab, thus a reduced concrete volume. Also from less tonnage of steel, less site traffic and a less intrusive impact on the site terrain. The Insul Slab Foundation, similar in format to the semi raft Foundation, is based on an innovative and versatile concept which allows the same proven modular system of build and construction technique to be applied to a variety of differing ground conditions and environmental requirements. This alternative foundation solution is both quick, clean and easy to install, delivering a robust, highly insulated, in situ concrete foundation slab. It can be suitable as a direct replacement to independent beam and block floor slabs founded on deep trench fill foundations. Insul Slab, a standalone solution, can excel where more difficult ground and environmental conditions prevail, in particular where there is a presence of natural occurring and man made gases in the underlying strata, where there is poor ground bearing pressure resulting in the need for a pile supported solution or vibro pile stone column ground improvement, where there is a need for engineered replacement fill for ground improvement where foundations are constructed on cohesive soils with a requirement to adequately provide measures to accommodate ground heave, where underfloor heating systems can be cast within the concrete slab pore, saving the time and expense of a secondary screed. Once the ground has been prepared in accordance with the geotechnical engineer's requirements, the brickwork outline is set out and the drainage positions located and installed. The insil slab horizontal edge beam insulation is then placed around the footprint of the foundation. Scaffold boards are placed on the edge of the horizontal insulation to form the temporary edge shutter to contain the first 225mm deep concrete pour. The scaffold boards are secured against steel pins to adequately support the pressure of the concrete pour. The remaining internal formation is then brought up to the top of the perimeter insulation and a damp proof membrane laid over the whole footprint of the foundation and draped over the perimeter shutter. Working from the plot specific insul slab drawings and starting from one corner of the plot, the insul slab pods are interlocked to form the insulating waffle core of the slab. The easy fit pods can be quickly cut and shaped to accommodate the service entries. The range of pod sizes enables the designer to maximize the insulation within the foundation footprint whilst maintaining the necessary beam widths. We only pour the perimeter beam for the first stage of the concrete pour. Before concreting the perimeter beam, all openings between the interlocking pods and where internal beams intersect the edge beams are closed off around the insole slab pod perimeter using insole slab accessories. We see here a two-stage pour, typical of house foundation construction. The steel fibre reinforced concrete has been specifically developed for use with insole slab pods and its exceptional strength to volume ratio is achieved by combining a specific concrete mix combined with a controlled quantity of specialised manufactured steel fibres which then form a reinforced cohesive bond as the concrete cures. The steel fibre reinforced concrete is delivered poured and placed in the same way as a traditional concrete. Construction using the two-stage technique requires the installation of Z-bars to be placed as the first stage pour is finished, to provide the shear key between the two pours. The second stage shutter is located on the toe beam and secured in place against temporary steel support pins drilled into the toe. The second stage pour will completely cover the pods. 
The poured concrete flows into the beams and ribs to form a finished slab, which is then traditionally levelled with a tamping beam, smoothed with a ball float and finished with a power float. After removing the second level of shuttering, a waterproof paint is applied to the faces of the toe and edge beam, and the insole slab vertical edge insulation can be applied to the outer perimeter edge of the toe to reduce the thermal bridge and complete the finished foundation slab. Insole slab, the future of residential foundation construction.